Hello, Kevin. Okay, it is evaluation day. Here we are. Uh, I have two watches from you. One, an excellent 6139, and two, an excellent Alpinist. Both very nice watches. This is your 6139 6005. It's a late example from 77, but it's super nice. Uh, it doesn't look like it's ever been opened before. The case back seal's ancient, flat as a rock, but the movement looks like a new penny. And we can see from the numbers... It's quite good. I don't think this watch was really worn much, if at all. It, it shows almost nowhere. It's always interesting to see one of these that's in this condition because you get the you get this really see the the height of the the, the finest little details that div, that divide the very good from the excellent, and yours is excellent. And we can see mechanically it's fine. I was almost tempted to not even open it because it's so nice. I mean, because it's it's just it's it's nice i mean everything is nice about it clean i mean you have that kind of iridescent brightness to it uh you do have a little bit of brassing around this winding bridge here very minor though i mean i'd be surprised if this movement needs anything more than just you know regular servicing i don't think the lower mainspring art report would be worn at all i mean i've seen crazier things in a watch with this little wear, I've seen that go, but um, we might put in a jewel just to preemptively do it because we'll be in there and it certainly just cured a design oversight, but that's up to you. Okay, let's talk about the next watch. The next watch is something I just don't see very often. One of the 4S15 Alpinists. These are so cool, so cool. The, one of the only times that Seiko ever resurrected a movement the 5200 series. And they made them for such a short time. Why aren't you listening? Why can't you hear? Can't you hear? There you go. It's not running real well, though. Um, the whole outside of this watch is slick, by the way. I'm not sure why. I couldn't really get a grip on it to wind it. It's not real happy. Hmm. Watch definitely needs service. I mean, it's running. These are great movements, but they are super funky to service. Uh, they're quite involved. They're great movements, 28800 uh, BPH. Um, they are, again, they're a recreation of this earlier 5000 series movement. Um, they are, they're really something. Why aren't you moving for me? Why aren't you moving for me? Huh, interesting. Looks like we're missing a screw. Hmm, no, I'm not sure. Gosh, what a lovely movement. I pulled out the plastic movement ring so we could see this thing move around. That is one heck of a watch. Uh, we've got some discoloration around here, around this winding bridge, around this mainspring barrel. Looks like something's grinding. There should be something here. There should be a screw here. I'm wondering if we have a loose screw and it's inside the movement and it's dragging around this mainspring barrel. Which is why we were getting terrible numbers. Well, no matter. Uh, I can definitely service it. Uh, they're, they're certainly deserving of it. They're great, great, great watches. These are really cool. Um, I'm not really 100% up on the history of them. I know that Seiko came out with them and made them only for a very short time. It's unreal that they would go through the trouble of recreating this old movement for such a short time. What a nutty, beautiful watch. Isn't that cool? Okay, let's put the case back on your other watch and let's talk about that. Though there's nothing we really need to talk about. It's freaking perfect. Completely original. Barely worn. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the incandescent whiteness of the loom. The case lines. That's what good looks like. That's what these looked like when they were, these were getting close to new. And it just there's just this extra like level and edge of just brightness and sharpness to them. The colors run faded. 
It's really something. This watch just needs servicing and seals. Doesn't even need a crystal. Um, this one is going to be the big challenge. I don't know what I'm going to find because that looks, it definitely looks like we have something adrift inside the movement that's dragging around the outside of the barrel. Um, and I'm not sure about parts availability for this one if I need parts, but I guess we'll find out when the time comes. Cool watch though. I'm happy to see it. Okay. You let me know if you want me to move ahead.